Press pause and answer the question. Now this one is not really that difficult. It's probably a good opportunity to talk about the difference between the ACT and the SAT. So what they're asking here is they're saying, okay, we have a Pythagorean theorem and we're going to solve the missing side length of the hypotenuse of a triangle. The length C of hypotenuse was approximately 7.81. Between what two integers was C squared? Well, really, it's just asking what's 7.81 squared. Now, if you have a calculator, you can just do 7.81 times 7.81, and you get the answer is 60.99, so it's about 61. So this is the correct answer. It's between 55 and 64. The others aren't even close. So it's a pretty straightforward question like that. On the ACT, there's only one math section. It's all multiple choice, and a calculator is permitted on all of it. On the SAT, there are two math sections. One allows you to have a calculator, and one does not allow you to have a calculator. And within these sections, within each of these sections, there's both multiple choice and free response questions or items. So if you were to have a question like this, I'm guessing it would be more likely to come on the SAT. So what we'll go ahead and do is we'll say, OK, let's assume we didn't have a calculator. Well, even then, if we look on a number line, if we kind of zoom in here between 7 and 8, and on the top of the number line, we have the numbers like a normal number line. And on the bottom, we have the square of the number. 7 squared is 49, and 8 squared is 64. And so we know our answer is going to be somewhere between 7 squared and 8 squared, since our length of the hypotenuse is 7.81, which falls about here. So we say, OK, well, it's going to be between 49 and 64. And we can look at this and say, OK, well, it's still pretty easy. It says 55 and 64. But we know it's going to be closer to the 64 because it's closer to the 8.